video, I want to get into PlayStation VR and kind of VR in general, but this will be my all my examples of this will be based off the PlayStation VR. Um, so about a week ago, Kotaku did a review on the PlayStation VR, and it was not a very flattering review. They were not very impressed with the platform, and while I haven't tried PlayStation VR for myself yet, so my opinions on this you can take with a grain of salt, and whether or not you have any um, real opinions about Kotaku's review is is also something to take into consideration. But with that said, um, this is not the first poor review I've seen of PlayStation VR, and it honestly doesn't surprise me. Um, the PlayStation 4, in my opinion, does not really house the hardware to run VR at uh, optimal specifications. If you look at the specifications for the Vive, for the Oculus, they are at a higher hardware requirement than what the PlayStation 4 has to offer. The PlayStation VR is using... Obviously, you buy the headset for 400 bucks, um, and it's using the PlayStation Go camera, uh, I think is what it's called, and the PlayStation Go controllers that they put out a few years ago. Now, this is all old hardware, and PlayStation is relying on it for their VR. Now, what, what does this mean, uh, besides them using old hardware and kind of slapping something together that was never meant for VR. What this tells me is that PlayStation is still treating VR like a gimmick. And this is going to be VR's downfall if it's not taken as a serious platform. We've tried VR a few times in the past and, and it's always just been kind of a gimmick. It's never been that good. It's never been that kind of revolution that we saw when we had the 3D revolution. When I first saw Mario 64 for the first time coming from a Super Nintendo, um, I knew that things were going to change instantly. I knew once I saw it, I knew that was the future of games. And I'm sure most other people did as well. And hence the 3D revolution and changed gaming forever. Same thing happened when we finally started getting online play, especially if you were back with the OG Xbox and you were there for when Xbox Live launched. Once you played a shooter online, you knew that was it. You knew that was a game changer, and it's been a game changer for basically every genre in existence. So with PlayStation treating the VR as a gimmick, they're already kind of screwing themselves because that's VR is finally at a point where it could be a game changer. It could be a revolutionary platform in which games are all built off of from now on. But that's not going to happen when companies like Sony, who are just rushing out a VR headset so they can be the first console on the market that has it, still treating it like a gimmick, not really giving it the attention it deserves. Look at Valve, what they did with Vive. They built a whole system from the ground up with VR Mind, they didn't just slap something together. They built sensors. It's the only, you know, it's the only VR headset you can get up and move around with right now. It's the only one you can do that with. Even Oculus is having this problem. You know, they're building controllers for it now. Where so, you know, before when Oculus was a two hundred dollar difference between that and the Vive, and so if you really wanted VR but you didn't have the money or you didn't have $800, you could go with the cheaper option, you know, Oculus, 600 Now they're making the controllers. I think they're like 150 bucks or some 200 bucks. So they're back up to $800, and you still can't get up and move around like you can with the Vive. The Vive seems like the only platform that's actually taking VR seriously. And so now PlayStation is going to basically ruin it for a lot of console players because people are going to go out and buy this VR and it's going to feel just like a gimmick. It's going to feel something like it's just something on the side, not really taken seriously, not really being made from the ground up, having games being made from the ground up, 
that doesn't treat VR like a gimmick. I mean, look at all the games we're getting right now. We're getting games where it's like on the rail shooters where you can just look around and shoot, uh, you know, or you got like the Tomb Raider game where you can walk around Laura Croft's mansion. Sure, this is cool and it is the beginning, but what we need to see for VR is we need to see real games, real AAA games built from the ground up as a real experience, not as something where... Uh, you know, it's like a 3D movie where, you know, they just throw stuff at you all the time and they don't even treat it like a real platform. I mean, with, you know, I brought up just 3D and the only movie I've ever seen made in 3D that actually treated it the way it should was Avatar. They didn't spend the time throwing shit at you and trying to be like, oh, look, you're playing it, you know, you're playing in 3D. It wasn't like that. It was actually used as a way of just putting you in the environment, making you feel like you're actually in the environment. And that's what VR needs. VR needs uh, an Elder Scrolls game or a first-person shooter where you can actually, you know, move around or, uh, you know, an RPG, something like that from a AAA developer, you know, that's a major release that you can play VR that was built from the ground up. That's what we really need to see in order for VR to take off. And with PlayStation just slapping old hardware on it, that to me, to me that tells me that they don't they don't really take it seriously. They just wanted to be the first kid on the block. And even if they do take it seriously, and this is just them to get it out while they work on uh, better hardware to work with the PlayStation VR, it, you know it's one it's one of those things where it's like first impression means everything. And if somebody goes out and spends four hundred dollars on this only to touch it for an hour or two and then never really touch it again. I mean, what are, how are they going to look at it? How's a consumer going to feel about that purchase? They're not going to feel very good about it, and they're not going to have faith in it, and it's just going to ruin the whole VR push that's being made now. I have faith in VR. VR could be really kick-ass. I've messed around with it a little bit, and it's actually really sweet when done right. Uh, Elite Dangerous for PC actually was you know really works well with VR and it shows real potential there and that's what really needs to happen is people need to pay attention to the kind of experience that they're developing and you know try and make it work with VR I mean an Elder Scrolls game would be perfect for VR first person being able to look around you know imagine you you know being in Skyrim, I'm just going to use Skyrim, uh, but like, you know, being in Skyrim, being on top of the mountain and being able to just look around at the towns and at the environment, that would be fucking badass. And But that's the kind of treatment VR needs. It doesn't need a fucking company like Sony just slapping something together and charging you an outrageous price. And the thing's fucking 400 bucks. And the thing is as much as your system right there. So now if you want a VR experience for consoles, you're you're looking at eight hundred bucks right out the door before you buy any games or anything, you know like that that's a that's a lot of money you know and and, and that's what really this video is about is just kind of disappointed about the PlayStation VR. It's not like I didn't see it coming. I mean the the PlayStation is not the most powerful console around. You know I mean you, I mean you look at PC and like I said you look at their specifications for the other VR headsets. PlayStation couldn't meet those. So you're already getting kind of a you know, poor man's VR experience to begin with. And it, it and it and it pisses me off at Sony because we've seen this happen before. We've seen this when they jumped into the handheld market and they tried to sell us on the Vita and then what happened? They didn't really take it too seriously. We got there's some good games that came out, but they really didn't push it. What happened? That thing's basically dead. PSP, fuck things basically dead. Uh, look at the peripherals that they were they had now that they've slapped onto the VR. But before then, nobody was using that shit. Every time Sony tries to go out and embrace new technologies, they always treat it like a gimmick. They never take any of these things seriously. And that's the reason why they all fail. And so now I'm already seeing it happen with the PlayStation VR, and I'm like, great. Here's that VR experience that everybody's talking about. For all these console players, and now it's it's probably already going to fail. Anyways, like, subscribe, share. I'm out.